Hello, I'm John Hall from Right Here Pens in Shrewsbury. And, well, I won't beat about the bush. Um, we had a major mistake running for some time where we didn't have one of my favourite pens up on the website. I'm not quite sure how it happened, but anyway, it did. Now, which pen was it? Well, it was this one. The Sailor Professional Gear with the 21 karat nib. Professional gear comes in three sizes, comes in slim size, this is the regular size and there's also a king size which I will doubtless show you in the fairly near future. Um, none of them new pens particularly, but very fine pens. Um, now Sailor make two main ranges, there's the professional gear and there's also the 1911. Um, pretty much identical apart from the fact that the 1911 has roundy ends and the PG square. Both come in gold and rhodium trim. So let's have a look and see how they work because I think that's one of the most interesting things about them. There we go, I'm just going to move the camera around. Okay then, let's take a closer look. So, um, it is very much a mid-sized pen. You certainly wouldn't describe it as oversized. The slim version is in the hand, feels very much smaller, um, but is probably not all that much smaller in fact. It is a cartridge converted pen. The cartridge comes with the pen. So don't order one unless you want an extra one. Um, in many ways, very straightforward pen, nothing terribly exciting. You can get a demonstrator version, which is very nice indeed. You can also get colours, which are nice, and there are special editions come out fairly regularly. Um, so as a model of pen, it's it's pretty, pretty straightforward and very pleasant. At the heart of it, of course, as at the heart of any fountain pen, is the nib. And here we are. This is, of course, a thing of very great beauty, as you can see the nib marking there so this we can see is an extra fine. Not a heavy pen but as you can see my hands are probably well, pretty average actually so I would probably prefer to post it. And posting is of course possible yes that feels much better actually so I would suggest posting on it. We've got the gold trim on this and as we've seen we have an extra fine nib and I suppose what we really ought to do is see how it writes. So we're just going to dip it. And there we go. So here we are. Now I'm not very good at writing at the best of times, but this is an extra fine nib. It is 21 karat gold, and I, as always, can't write in a straight line. There we go. That's it. Um, it is a very fine line and it's a very pleasant nib. Extra fine sometimes can head a bit scratchy. Um, you can certainly sense the feedback from this, um, but it's very pleasant to write with. I've very seldom used an extra fine, I must admit, but um, it works well for note taking, that sort of thing. So we're now taking a look at a, another one. Oh, I've just dipped it so it's all mucky. I think we can probably see, I hope, this is H-M, H for Hinari. Well, I'm afraid I don't know what that means. It might be the name of the person who designed it, I suppose. A medium nib, of course, just dipped it. It looks huge, actually, doesn't it? Very nice line and smooth as butter, actually. This is really very pleasant. Partly because of the paper, I suppose. This is Lamy Test paper, um, which does tend to give very smooth results, but a very nice pen to write with. Again, now, say to put their prices up recently, um, I think they've been artificially held low for probably far too long, so they did go up. However, from us, you'll be able to buy this pen for a little less than £300, um, which I think for a pen with a 21 karat gold nib is an extremely good price. And I've got to say, it is a very high quality pen. I have huge respect for Sailor. 
And one of the reasons for that is the special nibs that they do. Now, basically, you've seen an extra fine, you've seen a medium, they do a broad and a fine as well, and sometimes you can get hold of a medium fine as well. Um, for a little bit of extra money, you can get one of their specialist nibs. And I thought it might be fun just to show you what those are like. So here we have... Oh, can't see. Well, I think this is... Music, probably. Let's have a look. Yes, that's a music nib. Now, music, uh, music nibs are basically designed for writing musical notation. Um, however, there is something decidedly stubby about them. So let's have a closer look at this. Here we are. So you can see a nice little pad of tipping on the back. You can see it's very squared off. It's going to cost you about 20, 30 quid more, um, but I think you can see why, because the additional tipping and work on it, uh, I think more than justifies that additional price. And what do you get? You get something very much like a stub nib. There we are. So. Oh, oh gosh. Let's take a little while to get going properly, but here we go, I think. So as you'll see, you get very different lines depending on the orientation of the nib. And it gives you really quite a nice italic -y type effect. No, it still takes a little while to this is the first time it's been dipped, so um, not a problem. Italic type writing, not typewriting, of course, but typewriting. There we go. Now, they do another specialist nib as well, which I'd like to just show you quickly. And here it is. This is a zoom nib, so let's zoom in on the zoom nib. Eh? Let's see if we're getting a decent picture here. There we go. Uh, nice bold Z there. A letter, I'm afraid, that's been appropriated by hmm, less than reasonable people. But as you'll see, okay, again, an interesting shape. And this one gives, again, different line widths depending on, in this case, the orientation of the pen. So, again, this might take a minute to get going. I probably should have done this before I started the video, but never mind. A zoom nib. A bit of flooding at the moment, but let's see what we can do. Sailor carrot. And what changes things? Well, it will write on the back. I feel fairly confident. I thought it would. If you stand it up, you get a slightly fine line. And the more you lay it down, which isn't terribly impressive. Oh, yeah. So as you see, there's a degree of line variation and it does depend on the orientation of the nib, the more you lay it down, the broader the line. Um, again, it's a great nib. It's possibly greater for sketching. Must admit it doesn't do a lot for my handwriting. Probably if I was attempting to do Japanese script, it would work absolutely brilliantly. Right then. So, I hope I've put right the way that we've ignored this pen for a little while, and I hope some of you may be encouraged to try it, because I know you will not be disappointed. Um, so just to recap, so it's the Sailor Professional Gear. It's the regular size. 
Um, it has a 21 karat gold nib, available in extra fine, fine, occasionally medium fine, broad, zoom, or music nib. It's a cartridge converter pen. I like it a lot. I think it's probably pound for pound one of the best pens you can get hold of actually. And that's it. So this is John Hall from right here saying thank you for bearing with me during what has been occasionally a slightly inept demonstration of the sailor professional gear regular size.